What is going on, everybody? Bauer Brown here. Welcome back to the channel, guys, and welcome back to me. <laughs> That's right. I've been missing in action for, oh, a little bit over a month now. Uh, but that's okay. I am back and we are getting back into the swing of things. Yes, sir, we are. Um, I have a good excuse, actually. I've uh, taken back-to-back -back trips, which consumed a fair chunk of time. And since then, I have been moving. That's right. I've been relocating, uh, not out of the state or the city or anything like that. I have actually just been moving into a new home, right? So it, it's been time-consuming, right? A lot of packing and unpacking and repacking and unpacking and <laughs> you get the idea all right so uh anyhow i've had a break down my studio and left me without a computer or internet or all that stuff for a pretty pretty decent amount of time and i certainly missed you guys so i am back <laughs> all right so we got everything set up which brings me to the point i'm trying to make today so what do i want to talk about all right i figure let's talk about mods right so in the process of setting up my office i had uh I purchased a new computer that I can use for, for making the maps that I make and uh, editing videos and, you know, whatever I feel like using it for. But anyhow, uh, so some of these applications, I had to do a clean install, farm sim, uh, Giants Editor, that sort of thing. Uh, but there was one application in particular that I want to talk about, right? So any of these guys that have been playing farm sim for some time, and I'm sure that's most of you, by now you, you figured out the mod thing, right? Especially you PC guys, no doubt about that. Uh, and you figured out that your mod collection can grow quite large, quite fast, right? So you have a mod folder that might have, you know, 20, 30, 50, 100, 300 mods in it. And it happens, trust me. <clears throat> and especially as you get into map making and stuff like that, and you're testing out different maps and you have different mods for different reasons and it gets to be a lot. All right. So what I want to talk about is a mod manager, right? Uh, or actually it would be a, a mod assistant, I believe it's what it's called. <laughs> there was one back in the days if you guys can remember back in the days of fs17 there was a mod manager uh worked quite well actually um and i believe even now to this day it would still work with uh fs22 now i haven't used it in a little while uh but it was around and it was helpful uh but since then all right so some guys have developed a new application which is your the mod assistant and i'll tell you what these guys this is a grand slam hit this one right out of the park. So it's not really a mod. It's a standalone application, right? That works on your computer. Uh, but as far as anything FS 22 related goes mods or, or, you know, applications, uh, this definitely makes my top three, uh, no doubt about it. So I'll show you a little, I'm going to show you a little bit about the application itself. Uh, and then I can let you guys decide if this is something that you feel is worthwhile or not. All right, so let's get over to my desktop here. Let's get off of there and off of there. <laughs> All right, so right here I have this icon here, this FSG, and it says MA. So that, that's a FSG modding, right? And, and this is the uh, mod assistant. So let's fire that up, okay? Ooh, and it's got a really nice interface. Starts up really, really nice. And it, like I said, did an outstanding job, right? So processing mods, it has two folders there that is processing. All right, and this thing does so much, <clears throat> so, so much as far as your mods go. Uh, obviously, the first thing that you want to do when you get into the program, right, when you start this up, you have an icon here that you can launch the game. So this this is basically like your your uh, command center, right? Um, everything just kind of revolves around this. So you can launch your game from here. Uh, but what I want to what I want to you know point out to you guys is the user preferences, right? So you get in here, uh, you can check out the change log if you want multiple versions mode, right? So when have you seen this? This is pretty nice, right? So you can use this on uh, older versions of Farm Sim. So you can use it on 17, 19, 22, uh, and it will keep track of your mods for each one of those different versions. How awesome is that? Right? I agree. All right. So moving on down, we got game settings.xml, right? So you want to open this up, make sure it points towards your game settings.xml. You should know where to find that by now. Uh, and the game path. Now, lots of people had lots of problems with this one throughout. No, oh, I don't know. Their, their whole map making career, <laughs> right? Especially starting out. Uh, but I'm hoping by now you guys know where to find this one, right? And what it wants here for the game path is not your game save folder. It wants the actual, like the actual farm sim game. So let's see if we can find this one. I think mine is in my E drive, right? So it should be in your Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then farming simulator 22. And that's what it's looking for. Okay, so that's what goes in there. Now, game arguments, some of you may know what this does. Some of you may not. 
Uh, I'm going to be covering this in a future video. I got some tips and tricks on, on how I like to set up my farm sim uh, and, and things just make it work a little bit better uh, overall, right? <clears throat> and I'm going to go over that in a future video, so we're just going to skip by that for now. Uh, what's really nice about this is you could turn your dev controls off and on, right? So your, your, uh, your dev console, you can turn it off and on from here. You don't have to go into the game settings.xml to, to, to change that. The Giants LED, you can turn off and on. Uh, OneDrive, right? So if you use OneDrive for your mods or anything like that, you can sync that right through here. You can clean the cache, reset all your windows, uh, color theme, <clears throat> that sort of thing, right? So make sure you get in there, set your preferences, <clears throat> and that, that'll help you you know, get the ball rolling as far as this program goes. All right, so once you have your mods in here, you want to hit Add Folder, go over and find your mods folder or folders if you have more than one. All right, so once you find that, select the folder, you get that in here, and you can have a look through your mods. All right, now if we go in here to the tags, you can filter through your mods. There's a nice picture for every one of them, right? So it shows the picture, shows the brief description of what the mod is, right? It shows you the size, it shows you the version number. Uh, and one really nice thing that they have here is you do the tags, right? So if we look through this list of tags, uh, it'll tell you if a mod is broken, if it's actually a folder, not so much a mod itself. Uh, if there's a new file since the last scan, if it cannot be used in multiplayer, if it's not even a mod, uh, if it's a PC only mod, if the mod has non game breaking issues, it'll let you know that uh, this mod was recently added to or updated on the mod hub. So it'll tell you, you know, if it needs an update, this version on the mod hub is different. So it needs an update. Uh, it tells you if it's not available on the mod hub or if it has key bindings that it's going to add to your game. Right. So a lot of information in here. So as you look around, you know, you look down the list, you can see we have PC only. Uh, a little bit further, this one has, you know, a couple issues, maybe nothing ground breaking or game breaking. Sorry about that. Uh, tells you it's not on Mod Hub um, and right on down the list. So right off the bat, it gives you all kinds of useful information, right? So here's one that has an update, so it needs to be updated. And this is all at a glance. It gives you all this information just at a glance. All right. And it does much more than that, right? So at the top of the list here, you can see that you could export the list if you want to. You can edit the, you know, the, the details of the file folder, um, all sorts of things. On the right-hand side here, uh, you can pick any one of your mods. You can move it to a different collection. You can copy it, delete it. You can pick multiples, and you can export it to a zip file if you have any need to do that. Uh, you can show it in your uh, file explorer, right? Right on Windows. You can find it on Mod Hub, and, and you'll figure this out, right? So awesome, 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 right? So now if you have more than one mod folder, right? So I have mods, and I have mods too. So let's say that I'm working on a project that I need my mods to folder to be active. So instead of going into the, the game settings.xml, I hit set active right there, altering game settings, and we're done. Right. And then I can just hit launch game and off I go. Easy as that. Right. So let's get back down to mods. We'll click that. We'll set that for active. Good to go. I can launch game. It'll launch it. No problem. All right. So, <clears throat> like I said, this is FSG modding. You can see that down here on the left hand side. Uh, and right here, they have a Discord that you can go and talk to those guys on Discord if you need to. All right. But for now, what I want to let you know is uh, I want to let you know how to get this, right? Because <clears throat> by now, you should be able to make up your mind that, hey, that is something I definitely want. Or, eh, you know, this might be old news to some of you guys. Some of you guys have probably been using this for how long now? Um, I've been using it, hmm, I guess, about six months now. January, February, February, maybe somewhere in there. Um, I believe it's when the last, the most recent version came out. So it's a fairly new program as far as that goes. Um, they are on version 2.7. Uh, so it, it's been around for a little bit. Uh, but like I said, some of you guys are new to this and some of you guys aren't new to this, but you're just finding out about this for the first time. So I just wanted to, to put this out there. Like I said, this is my top three, definitely of, of, of must have programs when it comes to, uh, you know, farm sim. So you definitely, definitely want to get your hands on this one. Now, this FSG modding, they do have a Facebook page, right? So if you want to go over to Facebook and you want to search FSG modding, uh, you can find their Facebook page and you can find out, you know, what they've been up to lately, like what kind of mods they're working on, um, anything like that, any different maps or, or tutorials, they even do tutorials, but I'll show you here in a second. Um, so anyhow, they have a website. If you click on this here, it'll bring it up, right? Farm Sim Game. How nice is that, right? So. This is their, uh, <clears throat> let me see, they have ded dedicated servers. What am I looking at here? Uh, let's see, support FSG. Now this I recommend, hit the donate button, right? So you definitely want to <clears throat> show these guys your support. Um, like I said, these guys have done an awesome job with this. They just knocked this one right out of the park, no doubt about it. 
Um, but anyhow, you can have a look through here, you know, check things out if you want. Uh, but what I do want to show you is their website. If you go to fsgmodding.com, right? So you're going to end up, let me see, we'll get back here. Uh, you're going to start out on the homepage right here, right? Uh, what we're interested in, they have all kinds of stuff on here. Like I said, they have, uh, they have different mods. I don't know if these are prefabs or if they're placeables or just regular old mods. Um, but they have that. They have, you know, mods here. They have different maps. They have tutorials. They have mod previews. Uh, so, like I said, you know, donate to these guys if you can. If, you, if you're going to use the program, show them your support. Make a donation, right? This is above and beyond one of the best programs that have come out uh, as of late, right, for FarmSim. Um, but anyhow, show them your support in any way that you can. <clears throat> so get their website. The one thing we're interested in this website is right up here at the top. You can see Mod Assistant. If you want to click on that, right, there's a link here to second line down. There's a link that will take you to a GitHub repository, right? And that's where you're going to download this from. Uh, now on this repository, you can look at what's new. You can check out bug, visit, uh, bug fixes, change log, that sort of thing, right? And this is where we're going to download it. Uh, they do have a portable version and they have the uh, standalone desktop version, which is what we are going to download. That's the second one down right here. So you want to download that to your downloads folder, wherever you keep it. Just run through the install and you will be good to go. All right. So like I said, since I've been sitting on my computer, there's some things that I figured, hey, you know what? I may, might as well share this with these guys. It's been a while. I need a reason to put out a new video. And, and here we go. All right. So like I said, that is the FSG Mod Assistant version 2.7.0. Right. So get yourself over there. Grab a copy. Show them your support. And you will not be sorry. All right. Um, and that's it. I am going to leave it at that. And with that being said, I am Bauer Brown and I will see you on the next one.